Hey everyone, it's Winchester Briar here, and today I have a total of 15 new Briar horses to show you. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but I actually haven't gotten them all at once. It's been over the course of the last month, and my dog is over down there knocking them all down. Technically, there is 16 of them. However, I did send one off to be customized because it was a body. Stop blocking the light. However, I have not gotten the horse back, and a lot of these, some, not all, a lot of them, a couple of them are ones that I have just kept. Um, from my inventory, which I have so many sales horses, like this guy, because I have a briar store, which I should link down below. Um, I get in hundreds of models every month that I put on there and sell, um, so sometimes there's some that I really like, and I end up keeping them. But, I buy people's collections and resell them, for those of you who are wondering how I get that many models, so now... There's like dozens down there that I need to take pictures of and post, including this beachcomber. But I'm going to show you all 15 of the models that I have gotten um, between Christmas and now, which I know that's crazy, but I don't I have a problem, obviously. So, without further ado, here we go. I got most of these for really good deals, like 20 bucks a horse almost. But let's let me show them to you. <laughs> the first of the models is... I think this one's mirror image. This one's reflector. Mirror image is the other one, and I already showed you guys when I got him the other one. But I have not shown you that I have this one, so I now have the complete set, which is extremely exciting to me. Next up, we have Wapasha, who I had when I was younger. I actually bought him at Briarfest 2010. I ended up selling him for some stupid reason before I decided that I was going to Congo the Lonesome Glory Mold, and then now I ended up buying him back because he's a stunner, you know, my dog was licking him, so now he's all wet. But that means that I have very few models that I still need on the Lonesome Glory Mold, my Conga is almost complete. Next up we have this really scary horse who is a body, um, as some of you guys know. Stop, he's obsessed with Wapasha. I got the airbrush and I've been practicing on minis, and I'll probably start a, a series where I do you guys get to watch me customize. But I bought this guy for $10 because I wanted to try and customize him. I bet this was a Seattle Slough because they tried to make it into a Zenyatta and that just didn't work. But yeah. Next up we have the Briarfest 2018 Lonesome Glory re-release. Who is very pretty and very new looking compared to the old Lonesome Glory. I wish that I had him here so I could show you. I do have him. He's at my parents' house. This model is gorgeous. I absolutely love it, and I'm sorry that I'm going through these so fast. There's just so many of them, and I need to get them all on here in the matter of a re decent amount of time. Next, we have the last matte Kelso Prides that I needed from Briarfest 2015. This is the Perlino, Perlino, I think that's how you say it. And, wow, this model is absolutely beautiful. I was kind of indifferent to him. I wasn't sure that I'd really like him, but I do. I just need the glossy set of the Kelp Surprise. This one I'm super excited about because I had been paying him off for a long time. This is a Chris Flint Alboroso Custom. And he did actually come broken, which I was sad about because I paid $4.50 for him. But I do have the piece and I am going to fix him. His ears are re-sculpted. His mane is absolutely gorgeous. The amount of detailing on this horse is outstanding. He's got his Nan cards. I can't wait to show him at the... Um, Sugarfoot show that's going to happen in September here in Utah. Next up we have one of the few Othello models that I really like and this is Fall. Um, this is the glossy version of Fall. He came up for a price that I could not refuse and he's very rich and chocolatey and beautiful. I don't know if I'll get any more of these. I do kind of like the Four Seasons models so I may get the rest of them. I'm not sure if they'll be matte or glossy or what the deal is. Next we have an, a girl that I've had for a while. This is the party girl that was the special run for pot Pottery Barn in like 2008 or something. And I think that I've wanted her since she first came out, but I never got her until now. Um, and that's only because I got her for a really good deal. I believe I paid just a hundred bucks for her shipped. So, you know. This is the Bee's Knees, which is a Briarfest 2012 special run. Um, I got this horse for 20 bucks. Who, and she normally runs for, I believe it's like 100. She does have a few rubs, like as you can see above her eye she has one. However, I do not mind because I bought her for 20 bucks and she's only going to sit on my shelf. I didn't intend for her to be a show model or anything. I got this guy in a trade with one of my lovely friends, Biohazard Briars, or Bethany. 
Um, I traded a Peterstone Weanling and Argyle, who were both in my store inventory. Sometimes I do trades. It's if you offer me something I can't refuse, like a Smarty Jones. And this is a custom. His name is um, Killjoy, I believe. Fabulous Killjoy, aka Pax. So beautiful. The amount of detailing on this model is stunning. Um, I, I do have the artist. I just don't remember her handle. She's from Instagram, so I will put that below, I think, if I remember to do it. But this model is gorgeous, and I cannot wait to show him. Because I believe that he will do well on show. <laughs> this is my lovely boy, Wind. This mole is not one that I love. Um, however, for some reason, I find Wind to be a very appealing model. I don't like fire. Like, I hate the way that horse looks, and I don't like most other horses on this mole. But Wind is just so cute. Like, his face is just really cute, so I had to have him in. He only cost, like, 50 bucks. Water is one that I am still iffy about, but I got because I thought... I don't have a single horse that looks like that. This horse is quite pretty, so I ended up buying him because he's all rich and dappley and he was super cheap. Um, I don't know if I'll be eating Earth. I kind of like Earth, but I don't like fire, so maybe I'll get This is a long time want as well for my Harley D Zip or Latigo Conga, which is now almost complete. I just need to get all the glossies of these guys. Um, this is the Pintalusa from the Bollywood Surprise, which was Briarfest 2017. Briarfest has been killing me for the past couple of years, except the years that I actually go, because I went in 2016. So Briarfest, um, the Kale Surprise in 2015 killed me, and then they had Bollywood, which killed me, and then last year with the Dark Horse Surprise. They just, they're out to get me, but hopefully they don't do that again this year. This is the adorable Christmas Donkey Mischief. Um, I'm kind of weird, like, sometimes I really like these donkeys, I think they're super cute. And he's just like kind of a buckskinny looking donkey, and I could not pass him up for the price that I was offered, which was like $5. So, he came and joined my collection. And last but not least, we, le leaf, last but not least, last but not least, we have this Peterstone Santa Fe Morgan. Now, I have had several Peterstones in my collection, however, I always end up selling them because they never really grow on me. But this is one of the first molds that I've seen that I really liked of Peterstone. He is a daw that someone created, and he came in with a collection that I bought for my store. However, I was like, you know, I better just keep him because I haven't had a single Peterstone, and I figured that it'd be nice to finally just keep one in my collection, and he's quite pretty. So if I find another one that I like better than him, I'll totally just sell him and swap him out, but like... He's a rich liver chestnut with like a blue eye and a blaze, and he's got some stockings and a sock, so he's quite gorgeous in my opinion. But yeah, so I will not do that again where I just let him add up till I have to do one big long video. Because I do have briars coming in all the time, I should just start making videos every time I get one instead of letting it drag on like that. But I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in whatever my next video is going to be. I'm not sure because I haven't checked the schedule, but I need to get some filming done. So thank you guys so much. Bye.